And Southampton versus Manchester United ends nil-nil. A typical end-of-season, boring, drawing game for Manchester United. 15 draws we've had this season in the Premier League. Five more than most... Well, five more than Liverpool, four more than Stoke, and then a lot of teams are nowhere near that. So a massive amount of draws, which has been our problem all season. I know everyone will jump behind it, and I'm sure Mourinho will jump behind the fact, oh, it's a game we don't need. But you play 38 games in the Premier League, Jose. You can't just pick and choose and say you don't need them. They're all points. They all count. You know you've got them at the start of the season. They're there to be played, and we've got to do better than that. I think... There's concerns. There was a great comment on the watch along earlier about the problem with Manchester United over these last few years has been it's always hashtag De Gea saves, hashtag Romero saves. And today was definitely man of the match, Sergio Romero. And that's the problem with Manchester United. We can sort of hide behind the fact we're only going to finish sixth. It doesn't really matter. We're going through the motions. But you can also flip it around the other way and say this is a cup final in a week's time. A week's time now, if you're watching this live, we'll pretty much know if we've won the Europa League or not. Our season depends on where we are in a week's time. This game, no matter what, and no matter how you dress it up, this game is massively important to us tonight. And I think, again, like the Spurs game, it's a missed opportunity for so, so many players. Because a lot of these players tonight are playing for a place in that final. And a lot of these players tonight will be playing in that final. And a lot of these players tonight didn't stamp any sort of authority or desire again on wanting to play in that final or having the mindset or ability or confidence to play in that final. And that's what my concern is with Mourinho and Manchester United at the moment. When was the last time we actually put in a good performance? Not necessarily a result, but a good performance. Because you can play well and get beat or draw, but a good performance. And the last one I can think that was okay was Burnley away. And that's a few weeks ago now. Since then, we've played against Celta Vigo. And I think we were dis- we've got, we're okay away to Celta Vigo, to be fair. But Celta Vigo at home, obviously Arsenal, Spurs, Southampton tonight. That's a number of games in a row where we've not played well. And I'm concerned because experience suggests to me and all you lot as well that you cannot just switch it on and off. You can't just switch it on and off. You can't just be going through the motions and then when in the final, when it matters, we'll play well. Because... Football is very much about consistency and rhythm. And our rhythm at the moment, and for a lot of these last few months, since probably Christmas really, has been grinding out results. And if that's our approach against Ajax, to grind out a result, then then our, uh, then our fate is in the lap of the gods. What we really need to do to Ajax is because they're weak at the back, but they're strong going forward, is take the game to them as well. Exploit them defensively. Push them on the back foot make them defend, create our own opportunities. Sitting back really plays into their hands. But I'm concerned as to what how we're going to turn up next Wednesday. I mean, Pogba back is a massive boost. We've not really seen Herrera or Rashford in the last couple of games, which rests them up, which is great. Same for Valencia. So we've got a number of key players to come back and we'll be heavily reliant on them, like we've been heavy, heavy reliant on them all season. But I am concerned that players who, who have got an opportunity to force their way into that team don't really seem to have, I don't know whether it's the desire, because I'm sure they've got the desire, but the ability and the the sort of sharpness to, to do it. And you've got to ask a question if you're Jose Mourinho. Why are my players, my fringe players, some of them, but some of them I'm going to have to trust in the final, why are they not putting in eight or nine out of ten performances a week before a final, forcing me to make a big, difficult decision next week? I mean, Jesse Lingard didn't play tonight. I wouldn't play him next week. I don't think any player was as bad as what Lingard's been like. But he probably was sat on the back on the bench today doing a couple of dabs, doing his silly handshake, thinking that's me that's me playing in the final because no one's really grasped that opportunity enough for me to be dropped, even though I'm not good enough. Um so yeah, that's my concern. Um I mean it's not it's not a concern you need to sort of stay awake with or or start ranting about by any means. We could turn up next week and be great. But in the grand scheme of things I was a bit concerned and um, I think we need to play far, far better than that. And I think the players need to step up. Um, A lot of people are saying Mourinho's defensive and all that, but there was opportunities to impose ourselves on the game. But what I would say, in fairness to Mourinho, is look, he played Rooney up front today. Whatever you think about Wayne Rooney, and he did have a few good touches today, he is slow, he is past it, and when he's your front line... You're never going to stretch the opposition defensively. You're never going to push their line. They're never going to be fearful of a ball in behind the back. So that was a problem. You look at the midfield three. 
Fellaini, you know, he's not really got quick movement of the ball to be creative. Twan Sibi, he hasn't either. It's not really what his game's about. And, um, you know, Mkhitaryan's then being fed by two players that aren't really that good at taking the ball off the back four and feeding the attackers. So that was a problem. And on the balance of play, Southampton had the better chances and probably deserved to win. So a draw isn't a bad result. Romero obviously saving a penalty wasn't a penalty. I mean, it was a handball, but it was outside the box. But justice was served with a very good save. Um, Romero would be my man of the match as I go through the players. Romero would give an eight. I thought the penalty save was very good. I thought all these other saves were a bit Hollywood saves, really. He was never at full stretch. They were sort of like, you know, palms with the hands there. But it's good that he's playing well. It's good that he's playing confident because he was always going to be playing in this final, as as Mourinho said. So you want your goalkeeper, if it's not going to be De Gea, you want it to be a keeper who's in form and confident, which he is. So that's good. Romero would give an eight. Um, Bailly, seven. Didn't really do anything wrong. Same with Smalling. I think I'd give him a seven. Phil Jones, I think, was slightly better than Smalling, so but I'd still give him a seven because it wasn't an eight performance. And Darmian, again, I'd give it a seven. I'm not going to... I thought the back four don't really deserve a six because they actually had quite a lot to do and they defended quite well and they kept a clean sheet. So um, I don't think the defence and the goalkeeper especially deserve criticism just because as an attacking force we weren't good enough. The defence did their job. Um, and it'll be interesting to see who he goes with out of Jones and Smalling to play with Blind in the final. For me, it still would be Smalling because he's better in the air. And obviously Blind's a bit on the short side. Midfield three, uh, Twan CB, uh, I'm tempted to give him an eight again, but because, you know, I'm starting to see him as a first team player, squad player now, I'm going to give him a seven. Um, uh, this is a young lad playing two games in a row away from home against decent Premier League opposition, and he hasn't put a foot wrong. Um, and it's very difficult to stand out as being a star player in that role, because as we've seen with Carrick over the years, it's the unsung hero role, but he didn't put a foot wrong. He's very, very competent, and, and I think it's great. Absolutely fantastic. Um, Fellaini, again, give him a seven. Didn't do a hell of a lot wrong. Um, limited, obviously, but we know his limitations in relation to speed and ball movement, but he didn't, you know, made a few tackles. I fully expect him to play in the final, and we need to accept that as well. Mkhitaryan. I think I'd put Mkhitaryan and Mata and Martial into the same category, apart from the fact that I think Mkhitaryan was shaded it in the fact that he wasn't actually as effective as Martial and Mata. So I'll probably give Mkhitaryan a six. Um, Some good bits, but drifted in and out of the game and his physicality is becoming an issue. Um, I don't think he's staked a claim for the final. It'll be interesting to see if he does play. Um, Mata, I think, has to play in the final. I give Mata a seven. I know a lot of people think, oh, what did he do? But he's always buzzing around. He's very consistent. He always wants the ball. And I think with Lingard... I'd go Mata on the right. Really, I think it's really important in that final that Mata plays. So Mata gets a seven. Martial, I'm going to give him a generous seven because I think a lot of people get on his back. But he had a good run. He hit the post. Um, He always has two or three players around him, which is very difficult. Um, And I I don't think it was an atrocious performance from Martial by any means. Rooney, I'm going to give Rooney a generous seven as well. I thought maybe he was a six. You know, he made his very blunt up front, but he did put that ball through to Martial in the first half. And you know what? We've all been Rooney hating for a long time. But I think, you know, there's probably a few generous sevens in that performance. But realistically, I'm being generous with the sevens because actually a lot of them should be getting eight and nines because that's the problem with that performance today. This is an opportunity to play in the final and people are giving you six and sevens. They should be giving eight and nines. This was your, you know, dress rehearsal to really force your way in you can't hide behind tactics and man- and the manager you can't blame them the players have got to turn up and that's been the problem this year whether it's players putting the ball in the back on the back of the net or silly mistakes complacency lack of concentration whatever it's been throughout this season a lot of it falls on the players and tonight a week before our biggest game in years I expect more from them they can't have the excuse like if Pogba played tonight and Herrera and they put a seven in you could say well, you know they're playing in the final. They probably just don't want to get injured, overexert themselves. They're just going through the motions. But there's a number of players tonight, most of that team, they they, they can't have that excuse because they can't know that they're playing in the final. So they should be far, far, far better than that. Um, Neo Dogo says, Mickey looks tired and in- uninterested. Um, Tyrone Williams, Marshall needs players who's clever enough to find him. I agree with that. I mean, some attacking players are totally dependent on the players they've got around them. Um, Blaine O'Hare says, roll on Rooney's last game for us. Um, I think it's going to be very interesting, isn't it? It'd be very interesting um, to see what he's got to say um, on Sunday. Um, yeah, 
just, uh, listening to Mourinho just because uh, Frank Fellaini's got an injury, but he should be okay. I'm sorry to be silent. I was trying to feed you what's actually happening. Yeah, I mean, he's not. Yeah. So Fellaini's probably got a little bit of tear, but his experience means that he'll probably be okay for the final. And um, and the um, obviously the Bay's got a bit of a knock, but it doesn't matter because he's not going to play in the final anyway. Um, Luke Kelly makes me laugh. Our full time devils are copying Man uh, the United Stand. I've got no idea what they're up to. Not interested. Um, Martial's opportunity that he gets given is when he has to play with a raw and young. And yeah, this is a great point from Evan Pennington. Martial's opportunity to shine is when he gets played with two midfielders who are not very good at feeding the attackers in Fellaini and Twansebi. I mean, and Twansebi is a centre back. He's, he's not. A creative midfielder. I'm not slating him at all. He had a very good performance today. But the point about the midfield is true. Um, if league isn't the priority, then why not just let the players express themselves and play their game, says Mohamed Hussain. Um, and that's the least creative midfield we've had in years, says Dipto. Which, to be honest, you sort of expect that sort of performance with that sort of uh, midfield, don't you? So... Yeah, that's, that's a good point. A Premier League record 15th draw of the season for United, which I started off with. Nicholas Crutcho saying it's a record. I didn't know that. Uh, Lou Robinson says Martial was lazy. I think that's a lazy comment, Lou, to be honest. I don't like to be critical of people, but I do think that's lazy. I think Martial's lazy comment is just a lazy comment. It's um, yeah, he look, it's his persona. I don't think he was lazy at all. He had a good few runs. Um Marshall's lacking confidence, says Sam. And your booty will be spanked if you're negative, says Dag Refuser. I'll be careful then. Uh, he's come back. I says, well, do I want a caning? It's all going off. Um, don't ever... Uh, okay, world-class players create their own chances, says Sahail. Nah, they don't. They don't. That's, that's another myth as well. You stick Messi in Leighton Orient side and he won't score a hat-trick. It's very easy to... if you, it, It's very easy to deal with players in the modern game if they're not getting the... Uh, um, assistance and you can throw all oh, Messi Messi does it for Barcelona but they play pub teams a lot of the time and he's surrounded by fantastic players I, I, I will defend if, it, if it's a comment like that um, Darren Allsop Jose worried that Fellaini is injured says it all about United yeah, yeah that is quite interesting isn't it that is quite interesting um, in fact I'm going to use that as a tweet Darren I think it's a very good one um, it does you know whatever you think about Fellaini the fact that Mourinho is so worried about him um says everything about what we are at the moment and what we need to improve on, doesn't it? Um, yes, Lorenzo, people overdoing the criticism. I agree with that. I think my concern in closing for this game would be that my concern is that not enough players have stepped up tonight when they've got an opportunity to show what they can do for the final. And also, I'm a bit concerned about how, for the last few games, we're not playing good football and how you can just turn a switch and turn it back on. I don't think you can. Um, and um, obviously, we're not going to play our team against Palace. So basically, we've got to go into that Ajax game and produce form that we've not seen for a few weeks so it's interesting I still have to believe that this time next week we will be celebrating a tournament win that will put us in the Champions League because if we're not there's going to be a meltdown because it will be a, it will be a failure of a season if we're not in the Champions League so all to build up for the week countdown starts here I'll be back tomorrow at 7am with a transfer daily and then tomorrow night at half eight, it's your show. It's a Skype Goldbridge show tomorrow night, half eight, get Skyping in, give us your thoughts, um, whatever you want to talk about. A very eventful day, probably away from the match. Thanks everybody for, who's, uh, for, for your supportive tweets, your, your messages, your support for United Stand, for watching the watch along, for getting involved. You're all fantastic. And um, drop a like on the video and I will see you tomorrow morning at 7am with a transfer daily.